Hi everyone, my name is Jeremy and welcome to Saint Maker. I don't usually play visual novels for the channel because they require that I read a lot. And I've tried recording some of them. I end up not uploading because I get very lazy when I start reading out loud. And eventually my throat like starts bothering me a lot. So I try not to play games like that. But this game in particular looks awesome, first of all. And secondly, it has voice acting. So I decided that I wanted to check it out just because of that, because that means that I can concentrate on the story, on the gameplay, and not so much on reading, right? So what is this game about? This is a horror visual novel and it says a haunted convent, statues that move on their own, a buried past, welcome to Saint Idelora's convent where becoming a saint comes with a price. This game is out on Steam and now it's out on Nintendo Switch. Because it's a visual novel, I'm assuming that there's no difference between one or the other. I'm checking out the Steam version because it's the one that I have available right now. So let's get into it. Somewhere in the forest is a stream. Maybe a flower bed and a grove full of old trees. Like the ones in storybooks. Fairies darting in and out of knot holes. Focus, Holly. Get your head out of the clouds. I'm not here for that. This isn't some storybook. Fairies? They aren't real. It's like what Mom always said. There are only angels and demons. Oh, the voice acting is really good. I, I think this is the first visual novel that I play that has voice acting, which is incredible. So if I don't talk much, I'm sorry. So this is the place. Uh, doors open. Okay, so obviously not everything was going to be voice acted. Hopefully most of it is, because it's really good. Maybe the whole thing got cancelled. That'd be nice. I'll have the whole place to myself. Heh. <laughs> I guess I guess we're reading her thoughts and, and the parts uh, that are voice act that are the parts where she actually talks. All the mysterious adventures I could get into alone in an abandoned convent. No parents, no adults, just me. Is that Oh, that must be them. Well, so much for that fantasy. It's coming from further in. Hello. Oh, I probably shouldn't disturb them. Heard that some nuns spend their entire lives singing prayers. Prayers for God, prayers for the world, for the sinners. It does, a little bit, <laughs> but well, it's it's for a good cause. Our order's sacred mission and all that. <laughs> Shush, lower your voice. It's ill manners to disturb prayer. Oh, sorry. Where the heck did she come from? Okay, just chill out, Holly. It's just a nun. <laughs> Is... Everything all right? You were talking to yourself. I love her name, Sneaky Nun. Huh? Was I? I didn't notice. <laughs> it's all right. Wow, even the characters' animations look really good. They're they're not stiff. I do that too. They they move their mouths when they're talking. That's wow. This place has a very special air to it. It's hard not to get caught up in my own thoughts sometimes. Um, yeah. I gotta say, this place, it's bigger than I expected. Oh, yes. I used to get lost all the time. I still do, to be honest. <laughs> and here I am, chattering away again. How can I help you? I'm here for the recollection. Oh, yes, 
yes, of course. Oh, you're looking for our dearest and most admirable Mother Superior. Down the hallway, third room to the left. Probably in the middle of one of her stunning lectures. I see. Thank you very much. And, um, sorry again for disturbing you. Oh, please. I'm here to help. By all means, feel free to disturb me anytime. <laughs> okay. Okay. <sighs> They're getting younger every year. Huh? Oh, nothing. It's always good to start early. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your stay here. Yeah. Hmm. I'm 15. I'm not that young. Actually, you are. Maybe it was that stupid little scream I made. Nice job, Holly. Looking real composed back there. Is this the place? Huh? Whoa, looks like someone's been trying to put it back together piece by piece. Oh, I, I gotta comment something like... Religious environments... I feel like this is very inspired in Catholic Christianity. And it can be very solemn in a way and beautiful in a particular way, but it can be very creepy at the same time. So I, I'm actually pretty glad that they're choosing this type of setting. I'm wondering what the game has to say, if it has any type of message or critique or something like that. Because that's, that's just hella creepy, man. Well, it looks like someone's been trying to put it back together piece by piece. Yeah, it looks horrible. Must have taken a lot of work. Though... Still doesn't look right. Careful, plaster still fresh on that one. Just one touch can bend the whole thing out of shape. <laughs> Our most venerable founder was particularly fond of this one. Saint Rita of Cassia. Are you familiar? Born 1381, died in 1457. Patron saint of lost and impossible causes. Um, yes, a bit. At the age of 12, she married into an abusive family. Regrettably, her two sons grew up to take after their father. Violent, vengeful. And so, she prayed to God to save their souls. And so, God answered. They died of disease soon after. A harsh lesson, but an important one to take to heart. God works in mysterious ways. Even death can sometimes be a mercy. I... I see. Oh, but enough of that. You've yet to introduce yourself. Uh, oh, hello there. I'm Holly Beltron. Oh, yes, Miss Holly. I've been expecting you, though I don't recall receiving you. Huh? Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I knocked, but no one came. And so you chose to trespass instead? What? No, I didn't mean to. I was just... Give whatever name you want to your sin, Miss Holly. It is still a sin, nonetheless. Oh my god. Talk about start starting with the left foot, lady. What's wrong with you? <laughs> She's just a kid. Your bags. Kindly lay them down. Oh my god. So judgmental. My bags? Oh, you'd be surprised the things that we find. Cigarettes, contraceptives, pornography. Okay. Can you imagine bringing such things into the house of God? Astounding. That's horrible. I should have covered it. Or at least kept it in a hidden pocket. Not that my bag has any. Well, what do we have here? I knew it. Why I even bring that stupid thing? Kylie Taylor, the sorceress of Witchwood. Uh, that's just something I'm reading. Oh, yes. Well, it is always good to read. I myself simply love books. Books can enrich. They can teach. But... When observing a work, never forget to take spirituality into account, especially when it comes to material written for young, impressionable minds. Yeah, and I gotta say, this hits a, this hits close to home, because I used to go to a very conservative conservative church. I stopped like congregating all around in general, 
And this was the mindset, right? I respect those who have this type of mindset, but it it, it takes it to an extreme where I, I in our case, I we couldn't go to the movies. We couldn't read certain books. We couldn't do a lot of stuff. I, I stopped playing video games for long years. That's going to be a story for maybe for another video, but all because of how conservative the church was. And the idea that they plant in your mind is, is that it's sinful to like actually consume this type of media and it makes you feel guilty there comes a point where where nobody needs to be around you to, for you to feel bad if you try to watch like a harry potter movie or play a final fantasy game it's horrible that nobody should be exposed to this i'm i'm just saying this is horrible hmm. and there it was Cradle just beneath the canopy of elder trees, candlelight pouring from the notched windows, and the sound of laughter echoing from within. This was her new home. It was here that she would learn magic. Magic. Such an innocent sounding word. But, dear child, there are no greys when it comes to witchcraft. All of it, black as sin. A proper child of God would know this. It's... All right, calm down. You can do this. You've always been good at this. No, I'm not going to tell her what she wants to hear. I'm not going to do that. Play Dumb Holly. It works all the time. Uh, I'm not very happy with either of these options, but I'm not going to tell her what she wants to hear. That bothers me. I had no idea. Are you sure? From what I've read, it seems harmless. Mm -hmm. The worst things always seem harmless. Th that's true. Right. Ignorance on my part. I really should do more research when it comes to these things. But I've barely read any of it. And now that I know, I can just return it to the bookstore. No harm done. Hmm. Hmm. Notes scribbled on the margins. Creases on the spine. Edges are worn. I have an eye for detail. <laughs> you can feign ignorance all you want, but the Lord is always watching. Interesting. They they put Lord with uh, lowercase l in the text. Which is interesting, because if this is supposed to be like a religious environment, it's supposed to be with capital L. So I wonder if that's like going to play into the story. Mm -hmm. I realize I'm not making a very good first impression. Or or maybe that's just the way they chose to write it. I, I'm not sure. I'm just, just saying. I've been looking forward to this for weeks. I guess I've been so excited that I've just been all over the place lately. Moving forward, I'll try my best to improve. I'm sorry. <sighs> oh, improvement. There you go. That is one thing that we, the sisters of Saint Idolora, hold very dear. For Saint Rita's children, death was their only salvation. But for those willing to fix themselves, well, you'll find that this convent is the perfect place for spiritual rebirth. Here, you can be anyone you want to be. Anyone I want to be? Y yes, I understand. That... that sounds great. I'd like that. Well, now that we've settled that, let's start things off the right way. I am Sister Adira, and I will be in charge of your spiritual formation for the next few weeks. It's very nice to meet you, Sister Adira. There. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And as for your book, I think it's best that I keep it. But... Uh... Don't let her take it, she can't. Wait, please! I... Yes? <laughs> yes, she can. Oh, come on. Of course she can. There's just no use arguing. Better just let the whole thing go. It's nothing. Never mind. Hmm. Miss Holly, I take it you're an avid reader? Yes, ma'am. Then that also means you enjoy writing, yes? I mean, not necessarily. That's like a leap in logic. Yes, I guess. I mean, it applies to Holly, but 
I don't know. I, I like reading a lot, and I'm not exact. I'm not a good writer. Like I don't like writing. At least I didn't bring any of my fanfics. She'd have a field day with those. Wait here for just a moment. This should suit you just fine. Prayer journal. Pray with style for teens. <laughs> There's prayers at the end of every a page. Journal. Time has a funny way of muddling memory. It helps to have an anchor. That way we can always look back and see the old with new, fresh eyes. This next week will be integral to your spiritual formation. It would be best to keep a record of your thoughts. As we've discussed, not all stories are worth reading. But... If you keep your heart open, there's definitely a story for you here. A story of your own personal journey with God. Can I trust you to do that? Yes, ma'am, and thank you. Sister Adira, please call me Sister Adira. For our time together, I'd like to think of us as family. Too soon, too fast, lady. Family. Like, I needed more of that. Come this way. I'll show you to your room. Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, sister Adira. <laughs> Kylie Taylor and the Sorceress of Wishwood. Notes all over the margins. Letter on the first page, pink ink, strawberry scent. Limited edition cover signed. And I'm never seeing it again. God damn it. <sighs> it's fine, Holly. Relax. This is for the best. You're not here for that. You're here to be better. Whatever that means. Oh, Gabriella. This is Holly. She will also be joining us for the recollection. Hey there. Just call me Gabby. Gabriella is your God-given name. It's a name you were born with, and I happen to think it's quite lovely. Be proud of it. Abbreviations tend to only confuse. What? Right. No nicknames allowed. That's news to me. And I hope it's news you take to heart. We do, after all, have rules here, Miss Gabriella. Yeah, sure. Oh boy. Well, we're off to a good start. Okay, just do what you do best, Holly. You know the drill. Tell her that Gabriella is a pretty cool name. Let them know how excited you are to be here. I'm gonna go with the first one. Hello there. Pleased to meet you. My name's Holly. And for the record, I think Gabriella is a pretty cool name. It is. Had a classmate named Gabriella. Really smart. Ran for the student council. Though, now that I think about it, she might have lost. It was close, though. <laughs> no, you're talking too much, Holly. Don't do this to yourself. Good to know. <laughs> so, um, are we the first ones to arrive? To think that I was worried I might have been late. As of now, Miss Holly, we are complete. The recollection will start first thing in... Wait, seriously? There's only two of us. Yes. Sadly, as of late, attendance has been quite low. Can't imagine why. There she goes again. Is she for real? Like, real Soto girl. Well, I think you know the answer, Gabriella. <sighs> distractions. So many distractions we're letting into our lives. And even in these trying times, we still take for granted God's loving grace. You two, however, are very fortunate that your parents were responsible enough to take an active role in your formation. Yeah, sure. Um, th that's true, Miss uh, Sister Adira. I believe these few weeks will be an enlightening experience for all of us. I don't, I don't know if it's me, but I feel like Holly's recording, voice acting recording, and. And Sister Adira sounds fine, but there's something weird with Gabriela. It sounds like almost when you're too close to the microphone. It sounds like that. Well, I'm so glad to hear that, child. 
What I mean is that since your Adira and Holly sounds clean, Gabriela's recording doesn't sound very clean. I don't know if it's me. Connections like these are a very special opportunity, and I hope that both of you will be wise enough to seize it. Yeah, I'm already feeling God's almighty wisdom. <laughs> Jesus, say that a bit louder, why don't you? I will give you the rest of the day to settle in. We shall start first thing tomorrow. But until then, I urge you both to take in the silence this place has to offer. Reflect. Pray. She sure is something. But maybe we just got off on the wrong foot. Like like it or not, we're rule based now. I should probably say something to her. Though it doesn't look like we have much in common. You're staring. Oh, sorry. I I was just wondering. Okay. Holly, here goes. Just play it cool. I mean, yeah, she has cute bracelets. Look, let's just cut to the chase. What are you here for, exactly? Whoa, hold up there. Why is this sounding like prison talk? I excuse me? What do you mean? This isn't exactly a prime summer destination. She has a point there. Dingy convent up in the mountains, prayer sessions every other hour, Bible readings, character building lectures. Pretty sure they'll even have us do chores and stuff. You don't really go here unless... You know, you're one of those types. Oh, I see. Well, I might not. Well, I might not like it here, but I needed this time away from home, away from my parents. They worry. I mean, of course they worry after everything that's happened. I mean, true, it's not exactly my idea of fun. But once this is all done, I can come back to my mom with a big smile on my face. Tell her that I'm better. Tell her that everything's okay. I'll go back to being the perfect little angel she expects me to be. Yeah, that's the plan. Um, hello? You okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, sorry, I... Never mind, it's fine. You don't have to answer. No, no. You see, um... It's not, th it's not something I want to talk about. I should probably say that. Tell the truth, but does that come off as rude? No, tell her the truth. No, that's stupid. Where would I even begin? I should just make something up. Then why are you giving me the choice, the illusion of choice, Holly? God. I see. Well, in that case, I don't think we have much to talk about. Wait, what? Let me spell it out for you. I don't want to be here. And if you're thinking that by the end of this, we'll be braiding each other's hair and talking about boys and, I don't know, having Bible study sessions together or whatever. <sighs> you're mistaken. Oh. All right. Glad we got that out of the way. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got stuff to unpack. I love her the color of her eyes. It looks really cool. The heck is her deal? I'm just trying to make things work. Well, I guess this is my bet for the next few days. I should start unpacking too. Not the nicest looking place. May but maybe if I fix it up a bit. There we go. Looking better already. A little corner to call my own. Been a while since I've shared a room with someone. It's been even longer since I've slept in a room that wasn't my own. It all feels so familiar. Maybe a bit too familiar. Oh. Yeah, I think that's better for now. Mm, what else do I have here? A story of my own, huh? Hopes and wishes, huh? I really wish I had my book. Would be nice getting lost in the pages. The turn of a spell key, a heartfelt secret, and a little push. That's all it takes to get the mysterious world of Witchwood.
Oh, but I don't want to question myself. Come on. What the heck are you writing? Yeah, just what am I doing? I'm in a recollection for God's sake. Now, now's not the time to indulge in these distractions. Uh, to my dearest Heavenly Father. Well, here I am. I wonder what will be... I wonder what we'll be up to tomorrow. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure you'll be with me every step of the way. We started off a bit rough, but I'm optimistic for the wonderful journey ahead. Amen. Night. Okay. Psst. Hey. Holly! Huh? Liana? What are you doing? Uh, I... I can't sleep. That's not my problem. Oh, this is a memory. Huh, I can fix that. Behold my special move! Huh? Whoa! Liana! Okay, okay, I'm up. Mission accomplished. Ugh, Liana. Huh? What's that you got there? Just a book. Wanna see it? Oh, wow. I don't remember Mom buying this. She didn't. No, he lent it to me. Pretty cool, huh? See? Her name's Kylie. She's strong and brave. Just like someone else I know. Right. Oh, oh, but here's the coolest part. She's... she's a witch. Uh, what? Liana, you know how Mom gets. Remember what happened when you brought home that toy devil -y? Dragon. It was a dragon. It's not my fault Mom wasn't listening. And she's... Still not going to listen if she finds something like this. Look, Liana, you need to stop getting yourself in trouble. Don't worry so much. I'll just hide it in a place she'll never find. But... <sighs> just give it back as soon as you can. Well, about that... You see... <laughs> I was... Um, thinking maybe we could read it together, just like how we used to. Really? Y yeah, but if you don't want to... No, it's... Okay, sure, we can read it. But only because the cover looks cool. Come on over here. Okay, so I'm assuming that that's her little sister. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hmm. The Whispering Forest. The sky was a muddy brown. As brown and muddy as the grounds around St. Mary's Orphanage. Despite this, Kylie was determined to give her little sister Farley the best birthday ever. Oh, Kylie has a sister? I is that her picture? Uh, I like her. She's mine. I'm doing her voice. Aww. You don't even know her yet. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I got this feeling. <laughs> Mom, Holly, hide the book. Shh, quiet. Just stay still. Is she getting like a panic attack? Okay. 
can't move. Oh no. I, I can't move. It's okay. This is fine. I'm just stuck in between sleeping and waking up. Just breathe, Holly. Breathe. That sound. Relax, it's just singing. Just prayers. Sounds kinda nice, right? Like a lullaby. Just close your eyes and go back to sleep, Holly. Just relax. You're just hearing things. There it is, the first rays of morning light. Breathe deep, take it in. Another day, another brilliant gift from God. Another opportunity to serve. Hmm. I'm quite pleased with it, though. It still, I, it still wouldn't be enough for her. Oh, that looks horrible. Look at her face. Cracks still need to be filled. Blemishes need to be sanded. And of course, a new coat of paint. But for now, we'll... But for now, well, there are more important matters. I must not be distracted. So we're playing now at Sedera. Oh, dearest Heavenly Father, you visited me in your dreams last night. Don't worry, I remember. In my hands, you put a chisel and the other, the Holy Bible, their use. Perfectly clear. Once again, we now host young and impressionable guests on these sacred grounds. It has been a while. I am a bit nervous. I only ask that you give me the strength, the strength to be a worthy mentor in the coming days. May your teachings guide my words that I may impart wisdom. And may your hands guide mine as I form these young girls to be the woman you want them to be. Amen. Okay. <laughs> Best get ready. We've got a busy day ahead of us after all. Diana? Huh? Who? Oh. Um. Sorry. It's nothing. You've got 30 minutes. Let's get ready. Wouldn't want to be late now, would we? Yeah, sure. No white walls, no flower curtains, no mom, no Liana. You're not home. Get a grip, Holly. New place, new day, new you. You've got this. Remember, no distractions. Lovely morning, Sister Adira. Hmm. Why, yes. A lovely morning, indeed. If you were here just a bit earlier, you would have caught the sun shining right through that window. Amazing, the little things you notice when you take the time to stop and listen. And that's why we're here, isn't it? <sighs> yep, sure is. Ahem. <laughs> <clears throat> Fifty years ago, our founder, Saint Idolora, built this convent in order to train young girls such as yourselves to be proper ladies. Ladies worthy of becoming saints. During her time, the most beautiful flowers bloomed all over the convent. Oh, and the statues! With her skilled hands, in the right light, they'd look so real. Then, of course, the girls, like scared little lambs, they arrived, sick and broken. But Mother Idolora, oh, she healed them, she fixed them. They all emerged as lovely little angels. Lovely little angels? Mom would call us that all the time, in front of her friends. In the coming days, I'd like you to think of me as a mother. Whether it be concern or confession, you may come to me. You have to earn that, lady. Yeah, I'll consider it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you, sister. 
That's a very kind gesture. Now, before we start, here's a quick schedule of the recollection. Huh? Okay, it says Saint the de Loras Convent Recollections and Youth Formation. Women's Recollection Schedule. Opening remarks led by Adira Berdolagas Facing Sin. Moving Past Our Shortcomings led by Adira Berdolagas. Rosarian Prayer led by Adira Berdolagas. Finally, Mary Amidst the Chaos of Current Times led by, you guessed it, Adira Berdolagas. Defining Women, Embracing the Natural Role. Guess who? Led by Adira Berdolagas. Rosarian Prayer by none other than Adira Berdolagas. Confession by the one and only, literally, Adira Berdolagas. Covering the cracks, the road to saintly perfection. You'll never guess who's going to lead that. <laughs> Adira Berdolagas. There's no one else here in the convent. It's all just her. <laughs> oh, cool last name, at least. Um, yes? Any questions? Oh god, we're gonna be uh, the entire day with her. This this is such a treat, right? <laughs> Man, this all looks really exciting. It is. Most of your time will consist of silent recollection and prayer sessions. But, as I've said before, aside from reflection, we shall also task you with action. What type of action are we talking about? Like a hammer to glass, phew. Simple tasks. Cooking, cleaning. This convent doesn't maintain itself, you know. And I expect you to attend to it with the utmost care. This is a holy place, after all. Newly inducted nuns have done similar things in the past. If any of you find yourself hearing the call, well, think of this as a great training opportunity. No promises. You could have just nodded your head. I expect none. But you may be surprised. The call finds us at the strangest of times, in the strangest of places. Now, to start off, let's have a bit of an exercise now, shall we? I'd like to show you something. Okay. Ah, lovely, isn't she? Wholesome, pure, chaste. The face of a saint if I ever saw one. There's no second guessing, no desperate search for her place in the world. She is content to know that she is exactly where God wants her to be. However, sadly, this is not always the case. The world is moving so fast these days. People coming up with all sorts of answers to their problems. So many opportunities are now open to bright young women such as yourselves. You can be anything. Scientists, lawyers, businesswomen, physicians, even artists. And they're all wrapped up so nicely in narratives of fulfillment and prestige. And at times they can sound so appealing. But us women... We should not let ourselves get distracted from what really matters. God and family. Holly, please come over here. Yeah, sure. Now, I want you to write down all the things that might be stopping you from being a proper child of God. What does that even mean? Well, this should be easy. Yeah, Temptations of Modern Society. Time to put all those Christian life education classes to good yes, use. Yes, yes. It's quite clear that you've been paying attention, Miss Beltran. But we're here to talk about you. Oh. What are the things that hinder you from becoming a child of God? Me? There's nothing. I'm perfectly fine. All the, that stuff last year, I'm already over it. Um, well... What's the stuff that mom always complains about? Maybe talk about those?
Oh, okay. American celebrities? I am... Um, well, there's American celebrity. Miss Beltran, I recall confiscating a particular book from you the other day. Oh, seriously, you're going there. Oh, that. Of course you bring that up, yeah. Well, that stuff... It really isn't a big deal or anything. I'm sure there are other things. Oftentimes, I find it best that we start with the small things. But if you want, perhaps we can talk about other things. Your family life, perhaps? My family life? Oh, she's going way too personal, way too fast. Maybe you should talk about it. No, that's not. Let's stick to the small things. Hmm. Kylie Taylor. Good. I'd also urge you to examine any other pieces of literature that you might be reading. There is a special place in hell for people who lure children to sin, and all in the guise of fanciful tales and happy endings. Hell? It's always hell, isn't it? I just want to read my stories. Jeez. Chill out. It's just a book. Thank you, Gabriela. <laughs> just a book? Just a book, lady. So is the Bible. And yet, such a book has built cathedrals, formed nations, saved souls. In the wrong hands, don't you think the opposite is also possible? Look, I really don't see the problem here. Kylie's a good witch. Kindness and friendship are what end up saving the day. In the end, that's all that matters, right? Just what is she doing? This isn't an argument you're going to win. You're simplifying the matter, Gabriella. Is she now? These things, these stories, I know it all must seem harmless at first. It's all just make-believe after all. Brightly colored spells and magical creatures. They make it so easy to get caught up in the... The fantasy. But understand, these are all subtle seductions. They distract. And that, at its core, these spells and rituals and familiars, it all leads back to the occult. We've all strayed so far. In the Old Testament, people like Kylie would have been stoned to death. Oh, God. Miss Rivera, why don't you give this activity a try? Can't think of anything. Is that so? Do you think your life is perfect, Miss Rivera? No, of course not. We're all far from perfect here. But my mind's just drawing blanks right now. Then perhaps I can be of help. More often than not, I find that the biggest obstacle young girls like you often face lies in the environment you place yourself in. I see. Hmm. <laughs> Let's reflect on your friends. Have they been a positive influence? Yeah, they have. Helped me through pretty tough times. Your mother has told me a different story. Really, no. Yes. Sneaking out to these social gatherings. Coming home late at night. Surrounding yourself with the wrong sort of people. The wrong sort? Please understand. It's not entirely your fault. I was young once. I know how it's like. Or at a very sensitive age and it's at this time that young girls are met with a whole new world of temptations yeah whatever look just drop it it is easy to mistake desire for love but true love true love can only occur between a chaste man and a chaste woman. Oh, God. All right. Stop. Gabriella, running away will only serve to worsen your struggle. 
I'm afraid that Gabriella will punch her in the face. <laughs> if you would simply be honest. Shut up! <laughs> okay. Only you can help yourself, Miss Rivera. I am merely a witness. The scars you have are far worse. You can't see them. But they dig deep. Deep at your soul. Miss Beltran, I would like your opinion. Have I done something wrong? Do I upset you? <laughs> Why me? Oh, great. I should just say something, anything to just stop this. She's not going to say the truth. She's going to say this one. Calm every, everyone down. There's nothing to be upset about. Well, Adira doesn't have to be so pushy. She's being pushy. Ah, uh, oh, come um, on, Holly. No, that's not going to work. I, I, I'm kind of digging this because I feel like... I feel like we're her conscious, and she's struggling with us, which is pretty interesting, honestly. It just make her mad. Raise voices, shouting, then a whole new set of rules to make sure it doesn't happen again. Yes? I... I just thought of another thing to write down. TV, it distracts me all the time. My grades aren't as high as they could be, but if I just cut down on my TV time, I know I can focus. Hmm... It takes real courage to improve yourself. And right now, Miss Holly here is being very brave. Miss Holly is being a teacher's pet, or nun's pet in this case. And I know you can be brave as well, Gabriella. Oh, I would be pissed at Holly. Whatever. I'm done here. Miss Beltran, I'd like you to open your prayer book, page 32, Psalm 103, verse 10. Please say a prayer for Miss Gabriella, that she will allow herself to be healed by God's loving grace. Afterwards, you may have a short break. We'll start again once I ring the bell. Yes, sister. Well, here we go again. Was a little bit of peace too much to ask for? I guess it was. <laughs> Oof, there she is. I guess I should go talk to her. I mean, what she said defending the Kylie Taylor books, that was pretty cool. But still, does she seriously think she's going to get a nun to see things her way? Things like that? It doesn't help. It never did. Just more fighting and fighting and noise. That's all it ever leads to. You know what to do, Holly. Hey there. How are you doing? What do you think? Right on cue. So we're doing this again, huh? Well... What happened back there was pretty weird, wasn't it? <laughs> weird? Uh, okay. Um, maybe not the best choice of words. Nope. <laughs> Great. This is awkward. I agree. Um, so, what are you up to? What's it to you? Nothing. I was just, um, wondering. I never liked it when I got angry. Said it reminded her of my father. She'd always say, try channeling your anger into something more productive, Gabby. Pray. Read the Bible. I tried, you know? It's a good book with a lot of good ideas. But for some reason... You people like dwelling on some things more than others. Throwing stones, for instance. So don't mind me. I'm just following her advice. I... I see. Helps if you find the big ones. <laughs> Such as throwing, though. 
It's the nice, juicy crack you get when it hits something. Know what I mean? I can't say that I do. Figures. Oh boy, I gotta find a way to get to her. If I don't, she's just gonna fight with Adira again. And I don't want to keep dealing with that. She, she should just try ignoring Adira, volunteer to help clear up any misunderstandings. I'll go with the first one. Look, I know you're having trouble dealing with Adira. If it helps, whenever people say things that upset me, I try humming a nice little tune in my head. Sometimes I even think of a scene from my favorite story to match the song. Then afterwards, well, I can go about the rest of my day like nothing happened. <laughs> Sounds like a great way to let people walk all over you. I agree. N no! I agree, Holly. It's a way to keep things peaceful and happy for everybody. No. Why is she being so difficult? Look, we're both stuck here with her. And we're clearly not changing her mind. Fighting with her like this, it's just gonna make it hard for all of us. I just thought it might be better if we all get along. That's all. Please, just let me help you out. Help me out? I hear that a lot back home. I hear it so often it doesn't really mean anything anymore. Adira wants to help me, you want to help me. For some reason, everywhere I go, people seem so eager to help me, especially when it suits them. Well, how about this? I'll help myself. And you? You keep to yourself. I... This isn't going in anywhere, is it? This isn't going anywhere, is it? <laughs> oh. Would you look at that? All out of stones. Anyway, don't let me spoil the mood. After all, you seem to be doing just fine here. Well, that went well. She was lying. Still plenty of stones here. Oh, snap! Well, she wasn't lying about that, though. It does feel good to crack once the stone... It does feel good that crack once the stone hits. Wow! For the afternoon, we had a prayer session topped off with a lecture on feminine et etiquette and the dangers of dating. All very insightful. All things I'm used to. Dinner was awkward. I let Grace and Gabriela, well... She just kept quiet. It could have been worse. That's all something I'm used to. Already fast asleep. She makes it look easy. Was Gabriela messing around with my table? But I would have seen her if she... Never mind. There, that's better. Hmm. More prayers for the future, huh? At the end of the first book, right after Kylie had hosted the seance with the spirits of Wishwood, they had this huge celebration. Kylie chased flare sprites through the Lantern Marsh, wind in her hair flying in and out of the Great Canopy. After that, she spent the rest of the night washing the shape shifting murals of the Oaken Hall, drinking amber nectar and honey globes surrounded by all the friends she made along the way. The night was peaceful and still. Dearest Heavenly Father, if I had to ask for something, anything, it would be something like that. What the heck, Holly? Seances and spells flying in witchcraft? Don't get distracted, Holly. Dearest Heavenly Father, I want to change. I want to be a better person. I'm far from perfect, so I know I probably don't deserve a happy ending. But I'm trying. And at the end of it all, if I try hard enough... And at the end of it all, if I try hard enough, I like something like that. A peaceful night, a smile on my face, and a spring in my step. Walking through a forest hand in hand with my friends. Amen. Oh.
happens? Yeah. You said it yourself. The Bright Queen's secrets died with the Archwitch Elaine. So, that leaves us with only one option. Kylie felt all the eyes in the room turn to her. You can't mean... Perdita piped up, hands shaking in fear. Seance spells are forbidden. To a bunch of mischief makers like ourselves, nothing is forbidden. Grab your spell keys, friends. It's a long way to the rotting wood. Tonight, we'll be speaking with the dead. Wood. Ah. Language, Liana. Seriously? <laughs> Shut up and read the next chapter. I've got to see what happens next. I'm getting sleepy. What? Seriously? Just, just one more chapter. Remember what happened this morning? If you keep sleeping in, she's gonna get suspicious. Mm. Look, come on. We can continue reading tomorrow. I don't want tomorrow to come. I hate mornings. Yana. When I wake up late, she calls me lazy. Then I wake up too early. And she says I need more sleep. And when I do wake up on time, she just finds something else to complain about. Look, just... just do as she says, okay? I... I can even help you out. I've got your back. She'll listen to me, don't worry. Hey, maybe we can... You say that. You always say that. But when it comes down to it, you stand there with your mouth shut. You make it look so easy. You know? Mom's perfect little angel. Yana. Look, I don't like it either. The rules. The lectures. Especially when she gets mad at you. Oh, God. If you just do as she says. Things can go back to normal. Normal for you? I want to go out and meet with my friends. I want to watch movies. I want to have some fun. For once. She lets us do those things? No, she doesn't. We watch her movies. We visit her friends. And if anything we want happens to be outside of what the stupid church thinks is good for us? Piana. Wow, this is going deep. God. What? A haunted forest and a seance spell any day. Well, better luck talking to ghosts. <laughs> All right, one more chapter. How's that? Chapter 19 The Wraith in the Walls. The forest loomed over them, dark and quiet. Kylie led the way, raising up a jar of flare flies. And the music's so good. Purple leaves of the underbrush crunching against their feet. I'm, I'm getting a glass of water. Just make sure to be quiet. You don't want to wake them. Can't move. It's just like last night. Funny, the room seems so dark at first. Okay, okay, deep breaths, Holly. This is fine, this is normal. Calm down, panicking never helps. The more you try, the worse it'll get. Just lie still, you'll fall back to sleep soon. What was that? Why is the text red? <laughs> Nothing can hurt you, don't worry, it's nothing. Don't worry, Holly, it's nothing. You're just imagining things. It's fine, it's fine, this is all fine. Deep breaths. I think the statues are looking at us. Now wake up, wake up, wake up, move. Come on, if I can just move my hand, then the rest will follow. Please get out, move fingers. Oh, no, 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 no. It's all a dream, just a dream. 
There's nothing there. I'm just imagining things. Please just go away. I can't. Please. Please, just go away. Hi everyone, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with our content.